we have some interesting stuff going on in Knoxville, Tennessee. Brew McCoy, a transfer wide receiver, former five-star receiver that has been, it feels like, all over the country, right? He's been at a ton of, he was at Texas, he was at Oregon for, a, you know, a couple of seconds, drink of water, then he moved over to USC, and now he's decided he wants to transfer over to Tennessee, uh, but apparently, somewhere along the way, USC didn't want this to happen or something. It, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but... This here official statement from USC says, USC has, consistent with NCAA rules, promptly and accurately responded to all requests from the University of Tennessee related to the eligibility of Brew McCoy. At no point since Brew entered the transfer portal in January have we objected to him being made immediately, uh, immediately eligible to play at Tennessee. The issue of Brew's eligibility ultimately rests with the NCAA, and we wish him the very best. Now, first off, is this not really strange that an entire athletic department account decides that they are going to comment on one player that decided to transfer? This goes back to Tennessee and the Tennessee fans that are eh, a little crazy, a little excited. They posted on some of these message boards and told everybody to go and email Mike Bone over at the AD at USC because he was the reason the Brew McCoy is not eligible yet. And they might be right. They might, I, don't, I don't know what the full deal is here. Uh, we're going to get to a couple of different things here in a second. But, uh, you know, Tennessee fans apparently bombarded that email or that Twitter account enough that USC felt like they had to make a statement. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> when it comes to another player's eligibility. But uh, looking at some of the different things that have gone on here, uh, over at VolQuest, Austin Price uh, decided to put this out there. He said, uh, since they want to post their same half-truth statement, I'll post the deal again. He said, that was good reporting by Trey Wallace. USC obviously felt some pressure because of all Twitter and emails and so forth, or so on and so forth. With that said... Their statement is bathed in half-truths as they can still control his eligibility with a signature on an NPO. That is a non-participation opportunity form. USC had indicated multiple times to both Tennessee and the family that they were going to do so, but now have refused to do it and have put this on the NCAA. Their statement was in support of Brew and to help with Tennessee's appeal, but they could have easily made this one-stop shop by signing the NPO. That's some pretty big allegations, uh, but also, I I really only have one question here, and that is, what are we doing? Why is this still a thing? Like, it, if this is the reason that he is not eligible, then the NCAA needs to fix this. Once a kid goes into the transfer portal and decides to leave one school for another one, how would that other school have anything to do with the eligibility of the player being able to play immediately now. Like These things have changed. So I'm, I'm very confused as to what is actually going on here. And, and obviously, we need more details, right? And if anybody knows them, I'm sure that there are Tennessee fans that actually watch the show or that listen. Jump in the comments. I want to know what's happening here because I have tried to find more information and... Heupel didn't say anything. Danny White, of course, is not going to say a word about this. Uh, all you get from USC is that, which is in and of itself really strange to comment on somebody that transferred out of your program a long time ago. This is weird. This whole thing's weird. Maybe I'm crazy. You guys tell me. I don't know. Uh, tell me what's going on with Brew McCoy because, golly, just weird stuff. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.